Ramble. What are you looking at, Flop Doodle? <laughs> this is the latest show! <laughs> Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. Today we're talking about the greatest showman. Mm. Joining us in the studio from pretty much it, we have Mr. Eric Striffler. Showman, showman. Uh, showman. Yeah. A merry yeah. showman to you. Uh, boy, this is going to be a long hour. <laughs> yeah, it is. And uh, hyping him up, we have Mr. Miles Bonsignore. That's absolutely right. Who are, is, in addition to being our podcast gremlin, is also a frequent pretty much it Mm-hmm. Yes, Gremlin. Yep, that's and, uh, correct. I'm sort of the Zac Efron of this episode. 50-50, 10%, right? Yeah, 50-50, 10%, flip a coin, etc. Flip et a coin, I got my 10% weekly or whatever the yeah. fuck. Yeah, and he was what, doing producing before? I and now he's a circus know. guy? I yeah. think he was just a nepotism baby, and he just kind of <laughs> threw his money... He's like Carlisle. We're jumping right in. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> is he supposed to be like a Carmichael? Is that what that is? Uh, a Carmichael? I, I'm not a Carmichael. A uh, uh, Carnegie. <laughs> oh, oh, a Carney? Interesting. A Carnegie. 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 Like Carnegie. Carnegie. Like, Carnegie. I think what Carnegie is the actual like, pronunciation, but I don't, want to, I don't want to use it. What does it sound? Like, what, is, what, what, what is the word? What is the word? You've never heard of um, like Carnegie It's Hall a rich family. Oh, really okay, rich there you go. That makes sense. Miles went to a school with no shoes, so he doesn't really know. He doesn't know this classy stuff. I got That's my great. degree in theater arts. Is that, is, is, is that what it <laughs> yeah, was? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah okay. Was, yeah, was That's a PT quote. That is, yeah. <laughs> this is a very exciting day because uh, Garrick and I... T- What's up, Garrick? Hey, how's it going? Uh, Garrick, uh, noted musical theater hater, yeah. uh, oh, no. is here with... Maybe two of the self-proclaimed biggest Greatest Showman fans on the planet. Okay, no well, uh, you know. Well, yeah, I was going to say, we're, Miles is absolutely, I'm perfectly well, comfortable uh, with that and have nothing me, to say, but Miles is definitely going to want to interject there. Yeah, so I have seen this movie thrice. Okay. Thrice. <clears throat> and today was the thrice? Or? No, 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 no. I, I didn't rewatch it today because I have seen it so many times. Because you don't Because I don't love my job. Okay. Much like Kelsey, I didn't watch the movie. But <laughs> yeah. um, No, but I, uh, I have seen this movie thrice. The first time I saw it, I... <laughs> Went with Eric and yep. and I I thought it was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> we had a group. We brought a big, we brought group, a big and group. I sat in the middle of mm-hmm. all my friends that I brought to the theater, mm-hmm. and everyone turned to me at the end and said, "That sucked." Yeah, I was yeah. like alone, being bullied. <laughs> Eric was oh no! Eric was cheering, crying. We were all like, "What <laughs> the fuck is this?" Movie? It was like my second or third time seeing. Yeah. It. And then, <laughs> so their first time was your third. Time. And, and yeah. California was my third state seeing it too. Oh my I, so god! I did New York, right. then Vegas, and then California. Eric, were you a part of the surf? Surveys? Were you? <laughs> I, I followed them on tour. Okay. <laughs> Eric's actually on a personal mission to see the greatest showman in all fifty yeah. states. You know, yeah. that's not. I, I do live in a van, by the way, and could achieve this. Yeah. I absolutely could do this. That is so, correct. We'll see. Um, and so, anyway, then I then Eric was staying on my couch at the time, and um, uh, he kept playing the clips over and over <laughs> to the point. Your roommate loved it too. To the point where I was like, maybe this is actually pretty good. <laughs> no way. And then he and brought your roommate's me. like, this guy's got to go. <laughs> He's got to get the fuck out of here. Singing along. You and got ground down on the greatest yeah. showman. <laughs> he showed me a behind the scenes clip <laughs> of you. you oh, yes. Yeah, you and the bearded lady. <laughs> That's the name of the sequel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the I'm sorry. That's what? the name of the sequel. <laughs> Hugh meets the bearded lady. Hugh and the bearded and lady. And it ground me down, cool. and I went back, and I really had a newfound appreciation. That being said, I think the music's incredible. Mm-hmm. I think that the, all the music dancing set pieces are great, and I think this story is the worst story I've ever heard of. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, Eric, all right. You yeah. love this film. I do. Can you Next tell? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to hear a little bit about your personal history with the greatest mm-hmm. show. Would love. That. Well, before I get into that, I have a little surprise. Oh, yeah. oh boy! <laughs> Don't if, if those are fucking top hats. <laughs> <laughs> So here, Miles, you want to open these up for me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> open <laughs> these up. Because they're all stuck together. Let's pop, you know, toss some showman hats around the room. Don't pay attention to the fact that they look sort of more like pilgrim hats. Eric is dying inside. <laughs> you don't have to wear it. I won't be offended. <laughs> I'll fucking, I'll gladly. Uh, now, did, now, what what party city did you run to before this? Or did you have Oh, I bought these? them. I bought them days ago. Weeks ago <laughs> Thank you for the showman toss, by yes, the way, Miles. Absolutely. I definitely look full pilgrim right now. Yeah. I can't even wear mine with the headphones. With the headphones, it is challenging. I'll do this. Look, 
<laughs> yeah, go. we kind of got a little Abraham Lincoln moment going on. Yeah, it's on not over exactly. Here. It's definitely not. This is maybe. Yeah, I like. I like what Garrick's doing. Maybe kind of like put it on yeah, the. Yeah, put it there on you the mic stand. I don't know if that <laughs> is, like is that. even visual. On my. On my. Yeah. On my knee. And but, the, um, maybe yeah, put it on your works. lap to hide not, your crazy when, boner. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to hide it. I have no shame. Okay. That's right. Uh, if we get excited, we can toss them in the air. Is what we'll do. Okay. Uh, and we will get excited. Yeah. Well, at what point do we start singing along? Well, that's a good point. Um, I did see this movie when it came out in theaters. I didn't know anything about it. Um, so I saw it just like probably opening week or something. I saw it raw. I (laughs) saw it raw. You guys saw it with, you knew what it was. I'm tossing my hat for that one. (laughs) (laughs) You guys knew what it was going into it. I didn't know anything. And I was just like, oh, it's a, whatever. It's a circus movie. So I didn't know anything about it. I thought this was, um, uh, what's the, what's the one that won the Oscar or won a couple of Oscars for best actress that, and, and, Les Mis? Les Mis. Oh, Les Mis. Les Mis. I, thought yeah. like, I thought this was like just fully off of the tales of Les Mis or something like that. Just being like, okay, this yeah. is just another one of those. Right. But like not as good or or less. Another one of those meaning of, what? Like a musical, like a, a real musical. musical. Like a musical. Not like a pop musical. song, you know, yeah, whatever yeah. review. Derek sent us a voice memo about 30 minutes in the movie yeah. going, I'm sorry, this movie's about P.T. fucking Barnum? <laughs> This shit is about Barnum and Bailey making yeah, not, the no, circus. No, Bailey's not there yet. He's not, not there yet. yet. I thought the, the Carlisle would change his last name because he was trying to, you yeah. know, annex himself from the family. I don't know if annex is the word, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, at the there is a moment where he invents sort of live theater at the end because he there's <laughs> one of my favorite moments in the movie is there's sort of a wink wink nudge nudge and he invents the circus tent. Yes, yeah, yeah he says like because they're like oh the theater burned down now what do we do? We're gonna do like, yeah. about a tent. You know what's fucking you know what's fucking wild? I was during that whole scene. I was like oh there's a tent in the background. He's gonna see the tent and then he doesn't see the tent. <laughs> I was like, are you fucking kidding me? It doesn't come to him then. It doesn't even come to him. It's a subtle film. It's a subtle film. My favorite part about that moment is that he goes, he goes, uh, uh, real estate in Manhattan is a terrible investment. We'll get a ten. I'm like, real estate in Manhattan. If only you got in. It's is amazing. the best investment. It's an amazing investment. That's, you're an idiot. You're you're a bad at yeah. your job. You're, anyway, uh, previously on Eric's relationship with oh, the yeah. greatest show. Yeah. Sorry. I saw it raw. <laughs> and I, uh, and, but I literally, I saw it with my like family, and we were, we just had no idea. I mean, he, I love Hugh Jackman. I was like, yeah. a circus. This should be fun. Whatever, you know, who cares? I thought it was just gonna be like a fun spectacle movie, and it was. But I didn't expect like the, I didn't even barely know it was a musical. I don't think, mm-hmm. and so. I walked out of the theater just like, oh my God, these songs, are, you know, and also it was, it was like a sequence of music videos, yeah. you know, Miles and yeah. I have sort of realized if they just put out all of this, the song scenes on YouTube, great. I think it would be one of the best movies. <laughs> yeah. I was like, if they put the music videos on MySpace, it would be one of the <laughs> best movies of all time. Oh <laughs> but so um, I was just completely enthralled by that. And the thing is, I also didn't know anything about P.T. Barnum. Yeah. So and, and after I, I mean, seeing this movie, still I don't. Still still don't. don't. <laughs> so, but that's the thing, though. So then, of course, afterward, I'm seeing people online saying like they made a fun pop musical about an absolute. Can I curse? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, fucking yeah. piece of shit asshole. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I had no idea. I mean, I guess I could have assumed that. Yeah. So I watched it. When I say I really went in blind, I didn't even know anything about the guy. So yeah. I got, I enjoyed it the first time, and like that was completely untainted. Right. Then after the fact, I found out, and I, st- I mean, I still love the movie, but I'm just saying I didn't go in with any notions. Of yeah. like, oh, what is this? So yeah, you've totally wrong. A commentary track to it, and I feel like, or even, or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just the impact it's had on your life. I feel like you've done more than just that. Well, we, <laughs> I've seen it three times. Yeah, we did the commentary track. Oh, you didn't say when the second time you watched it was when? Do you remember what was going on in your life? Oh no, 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 no! That was the third time because you took me to the theater twice, and then the third time. Oh, I watched that's it right, that's right. Was the night before I had hernia <laughs> surgery. The next morning at like six and. He was genuinely worried that would be the last thing he did on Earth. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> he really thought maybe if I don't, if this doesn't work out, if I have a botched surgery, I'm <laughs> oh my god, I've, I've wasted the last evening not being with my love, no, <laughs> but being in the Greatest Showman. Uh, but this is the uh, Greatest yeah. Show. It's right. now listen, we're, are we getting start singing now? We can yeah, start we, singing. It's a sing podcast. A sing, it's a sing along podcast. Welcome Let's work along podcast. First ever musical episode of Guilty. No, Pleasure. it's not the first ever because we're not going to be singing. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say you've already done a musical. Episode. Oh, god, it's the no. second one. 
Um, yeah, no, so, uh, but so then, yeah, I've seen it a whole bunch of times since then just because I enjoyed it. I, I brought friends to see it. Some of them hated it. I've gone with friends that loved it as well, so it's been a fun mix. And then now it's really become uh, just a karaoke classic for us, like when we go to karaoke. Yeah, we do I don't know that. if you were still there at Miles' wedding when the song came on. We all lost our minds to it. If you, if you, you might not have even recognized it if you hadn't seen the movie by I, then. I, I, it was, was moment, probably It was so late in the night. It was very late. I think I was parted. so blasted on the meth that you were hitting <laughs> out. We had, the, we had little goodie bags of meth, but yeah. great company in Los Angeles. But the, um, we did, yeah, we sang, the crowd parted, and... <laughs> Not me and my bride, but me and Eric. <laughs> yeah, a couple of friends. Which, and, which song did you sing? The, the greatest show. Titular one where he's oh, under the, the bleachers whispering at the beginning. <laughs> oh. I love, okay, let's that's, get into the, the movie opens. I would have divorced you. <laughs> <laughs> I would have gotten it. Didn't you say, were yeah. you telling me, Miles, the other day that some, people have told you that that's like their best memory from your wedding? Oh, they said my favorite, yeah, people said that my, their favorite part of the wedding was when the crowd parted, everyone stopped. <laughs> Three of us, three of us sang the greatest show. Can you just whisper the opening for me? Oh, ladies and ladies gents, and gents <laughs> this is the moment you waited for. Whoa! Been searching in the dark, you sweat soaking through. See, the he's gonna pretend he doesn't know the okay. words. He's doing it sort of silly, yeah. but he's getting it completely oh, right. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> okay, so there. I mean, that's. I feel like my first flaw with the movie is that. Yeah. Some of the parts were some of the songs, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? They're just like they start off with this like carnival barker, carnival bar barker, yeah. yeah, carnival barker <laughs> style, um, and just being like really chipper and all that yeah. stuff, and then it just shifts to like a modern Lady Gaga ballad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. wait, wait, what era are we in? Yeah. What I is had it, no Paul, idea, right? Is their names? I think. Yeah. No yeah. idea when I was watching this movie what year we were in, at, or yeah. what country we were in, yeah. or what Where city we were, we're in. The 1800s. <laughs> Where are we? It's the 1800s. Yeah, maybe. Fully. Yeah. No, maybe. It's the 1800s. No, I'm not sure thinking. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking. It's like 1860. Did strobe lights exist in the 1800s? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> Because because it's audio movie. equipment. Like people can hear him singing. Apparently, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah, it would be really quiet if you were in that <laughs> he's theater. Just, yeah. He's singing to. There's no music. There. Yeah. There's no music. He's just doing an acapella. Yeah. yeah. In the he just he just sings, and then at the back you hear what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Excuse me. Yeah. But I do love that you. You're like that was where I first started having problems. That is 20 seconds into the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, oh, uh, I guess this I'm is already here. We go. All right. This is everybody's, by the way, first time watching it. Not Miles, but first you guys time, first time watching yeah, it. Yeah, and it was yeah. just recently, I guess, that you guys watched. For oh, first just time. finished right before this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, um, it's, it's fresh for me. Yeah. I, okay. So I know that the, the movie is loved for the soundtrack. I, and I would yeah, say, yeah, I would say that that is one of its triumphs. Yeah, I think yeah. that there are some genuinely good songs, albeit anachronistic yeah. <laughs> in style. Fair. Yeah. Um, did, you see, did you see they did a, a, like an album of people covering the songs? I did not. Panic mm -hmm. at the Disco did The Greatest Show. Um, what the hell's her name? Uh, Pink did, mm -hmm. you know, Rewrite the Stars or something. Who know, Or This Is Me probably. Mm -hmm. So they basically knew. They, they, they were like, yeah, these are clearly just like pop songs. We should have pop singers do them. Yeah. So yeah. they put out an album of pop singers doing them. That's just as pop. You, I walk around <laughs> and I hear those songs, the original or the remakes, in like the grocery store. It's oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song I, from the soundtrack? Oh, well, I mean, <laughs> like, I know it's like that. <laughs> Greatest show is great, obviously. Um, what's the uh, dream with your eyes wide open, whatever the hell the name of it is. But also, of course, uh, what's the song in the bar? Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't even know what it's called. Shot song. I like that musical number with him and Zac Efron. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. it's I've, really I've heard the song that Rebecca Ferguson's character sings. And yeah. when I heard it, I was like, oh, this is where it's from. Cool. Oh, you heard it out somewhere. I've heard Never it out enough. somewhere. Yeah. yeah, I was just like, <laughs> you oh, You heard this is that out somewhere. Like yeah, the I've ballad? heard. And I, I was like, really like that. Song. I like that song. It's, it's really, really, like, it's but really but good. All the songs do you hear like walking down the street? It, that's a funny one to hear. Yeah, I, like. yeah. I don't know where I heard it. Maybe somebody was playing there. It was just on their playlist somebody or was something like that. Watching Greatest Showman while driving. Yeah, and playing it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And and despite how beautiful that song is, can you believe that 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 little hussy? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my god. To. To kiss, she tried to ruin oh. his life. I thought you were about because to he didn't get mad that she her. didn't sing it. No, 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 no. not the actress. But the movie posits: yes. What if this girl was so into Hugh Jackman that she decided to ruin his life? Yeah, well, that's relatable. Yeah, and who is it? And by the yeah. way, in real life, that was like a woman that P.T. Barnum stalked, pursued, and pursued. <laughs> 
in that's pursuit. in real. That's the true. Oh my yes, god. Okay. Yeah. Accurate. Please tell me the. At all. Please tell it's, me the actual story. It's, it's was like, he married with kids? Yes. And he still stalked this woman. Yeah. He was really into this woman. He took her on the train thing, and then she left because he was like making advances in real life. <laughs> and then the movie is just like, well, what if that didn't happen? Yeah. What, what if, if we just left that part out? Yeah. What well, if we were just like, I it love was the woman. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. Um, when he rejects her, she's very heartbroken and goes. I'm just another one of your little ex. Bitch, you met his children. You met his children. <laughs> you met his wife yeah. and child. That's such a weird shift. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you are one of my little acts, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Um, I, I will say this. Uh, you know, we're, we're talking about the, the reality of P.T. Barnum and stuff like that. I would love this movie if they just made up a character. It yeah. doesn't have to be P.T. Yeah, Barnum. Sure. Like, I love the movie in spite of P.T. Barnum the man. You know, uh, uh, what I know of him, obviously. But I... I, I, the movie could have just been made up people. Who cares? And yeah. that would have had no flack. No one would have complained. So I do think that you weren't going to get all of these people, all of these like, like main actors. Yeah, if it wasn't yeah. a biopic. Because like, if it's mm. like, what if we did a biopic but a musical about the greatest showman of all it's time? accurate. P.T. <laughs> Barnum. <laughs> And we, what if we just left out the stalking? Like that's yeah. just, that's what I feel <laughs> was pitched to Zendaya, Zac Efron, yeah, totally, Hugh totally. Jackman. They so said so that too. We're gonna leave out the stalking. Yeah, Hugh Jackman was just like, um, I, I've been doing some reading. I've yeah. been doing I've been doing some research. <laughs> Stick around till the end of the podcast because we'll continue to tease out the true beat P.T. Barnum and how he's a terrible person. And mm. at the end, I'll give you some horrifying facts <laughs> yeah. about oh his life. God. No, please, please, yeah. Whenever, feel free at any point to we'll sprinkle them in. Pepper those in. Yeah. <laughs> so we were talking about the music, and yeah. uh, an absolute pleasure of mine is how no matter what the song is, no matter where the song takes place, you better believe we're going to find ourselves back at the circus yeah. with everyone singing along. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Every song right. ends yeah. exactly the oh same my fucking God. way. Yep. Oh it's my all, God. I didn't even realize that shit. Every single song is a soulful <laughs> sing along and it's like, it can start with like him getting a root canal at the dentist yeah. and at yeah. the end he's going to go Whoo! and the lights yeah. are going to go off. Yeah. The dentist is the greatest show. Yeah. The dentist puts like the thing over him and then yeah. it turns into the circus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, they are. I feel like they like lost the location, and they're like, ah, I signed a really bad deal. Let's go back to the carnival, baby. I guess we gotta fucking film more of this at the yeah. at the, the. And that's stage. funny because one of my criticisms not enough circus. Uh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and I'll say this: every more. time they're at the circus, full body chills for me. Yeah, anytime it goes to the circus is the best parts of the movie. So I have no complaints about that. The dancing, incredible. His little freaks yep. all dancing around him. Oh my god. <laughs> His little freak. His little what now, mine? Yeah. I think he says I, the his word word's freak. not ours. His word's not mine. He says the word freak. <laughs> Should we talk about the freaks? Yeah, let's yeah, talk about, let's the talk about freaks. We should talk about the freaks. What do you guys think about the freaks? <laughs> okay, so, okay, first. So well, that like, little let's rank them. Let's rank them. Top yeah. ten freaks. Let's, uh, I, I say we should go by. Um, we should list the cast by appearance. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. List the freaks by appearance. Okay. Yeah. So the first one is the baby Beard boy. Lady. Oh wait. Oh oh. Baby oh. boy. The, the baby, baby boy. boy. The baby, baby boy was first. So that yeah. was a. Who is it? he's a he's a uh, a little person who mm -hmm. has yeah. a dubbed. Uh, uh, it's voice is very dubbed. deep voice. Yeah. Um, but he has a, a disorder that makes him have a very boyish face. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and his opening line, which I open this podcast yep. with, is, What are you looking at, flap doodle? <laughs> <laughs> you so, know, I, classic circus banter. <laughs> right. That's what you would do. <laughs> I was wa I was watching this and I was like, okay, this this is obviously a little person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um and then I was listening to the voice and I was like, what? <laughs> What the fuck is yeah, that? It's very yeah, clearly it's, dumb. It's very it's, it, I, I was bordering or teetering on. Okay, this is a little person, but also a small child. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, that is also getting their voice dubbed. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Yeah. Because actually, the 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 character themselves probably in <clears throat> real life did not have that deep of a voice. You didn't need to do that. That I don't unless know. Unless. You were trying to make fun of them, which is not okay. It's playing it for laughs in a way. And this movie, oh, like, interesting. I only, I never saw it as playing for laughs. I thought maybe the guy just didn't have a good voice for the movie. I honestly don't know. But I have no answer. To yeah, that. Like I never thought of it as like a joke, though. Yeah. Necessarily, I, it's yeah. this movie. Like, I wondered, and we'll go back to ranking the freaks. I think we yeah. should. Yeah, please. Uh, of course. But it's like, we didn't get up to the tattoo freak. Is this movie? <laughs> is, this, <laughs> is this movie uh, uh, inspirational? Yeah, absolutely. Or is it? 
This is me. Or exploitative. This is yeah. me. Is because the I feel like it's summer. trying to have its cake and eat it too. Yeah. It's like being like, look at all these freaks. So no, but no, we mm. love them. We but there was them. a point. There was a good line where um, the <laughs> well, main. Wait, yeah, go ahead. Which one? The. <laughs> The, the only one <laughs> where the main um, critic said, Bennett. Um, Bennett. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the first time we've truly done this show yeah. and what it was p- pitched as, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which yeah. is someone yeah. who loves I the movie. Love you so much. Lock me up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I genuinely feel like I'm on crack. Anyway, like, I, so I... So he says, um, I feel like you are the only person that celebrates humanity or something like that. Yeah. Something Putting folks those. on stage with you, treating them as equals, all shapes and sizes. Yeah. Some may call it a celebration <laughs> of humanity. I would, that is, that's a good line. Some would call yeah. it a <clears throat> celebration of humanity. But I would Everything argue. Everything before that <laughs> is fucking dog shit. Putting all these <laughs> ugly little freaks up there. <laughs> it's really kind of you. These <laughs> fucking pieces of yeah, yeah. shit. <laughs> and then, treating them like us. Yeah, yeah it's just like, nice. they're fucking freaks. And then that one's dark. Skin. It's like, yeah. what are you talking and about, bro? Only, that's like, a free person. Power or whatever. Right. They're all people. Like, I, well, I would argue seems, that yeah. he not once treated them as equals, no, he and didn't. he relished in their in their otherness. Mm. He literally calls someone, some guys, Harry, and he says, yeah. "We'll call you Dog Man." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. but hold on. He didn't call him that on the street. The guy lined up to join the freak show. Yeah, <laughs> but then he the also way, like he, yeah. he a, a Polish <laughs> man. I think I feel like he was like. Just straight from Poland, just yeah. like um, he's like, I'm tall, and I and you got to stand on a desk to talk yeah, to me yeah. face to face. And he's like, Guess what? You're Irish now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yes. right, right, right. He names him like Tall McTall, the Irish or something, giant, whatever. Tall McTall. Yeah. Tall McTall. <laughs> I, well, it all stems back to his childhood when he meets the Origin Freak. Oh my god! With oh, the apple. Fucking my god! Do you remember this? No. Yeah. Don't, oh, yeah. don't, don't call it. You can't say the Origin Freak. <laughs> I'm sorry. Describe That's Miles. what it is in the movie. Describe P.T. Barnum. Her in, he, detail. in that moment, he gets the idea for the circus. Yeah. Well, because kinda. she's sitting on the Man. floor and. Um, Describe a, her. A woman who. She kind of looks like Quasimodo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah. She's yeah. got some sort yeah. of. A birth defect. And, there's a birth and defect. Is, yeah, and she deformed. comes up and gets an, gives an apple to him? Yeah, yeah. I guess. I don't know why. Like, the, like they're almost playing on <clears throat> Snow White. Yes. Which is fucked up. Which is really fucked up because that is the catalyst for him for being him like, a- later, I'm going to exploit these yeah. people. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are, there's people like this in the world, and I'm going to get rich off of <laughs> there's, them. Yeah, there's people the that kind- are different. The kindness in this woman's heart, I bet people would pay to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's crazy. So let's, okay, we got... There's, we, Go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. Please go. We we have we have dog face. Yeah. We got Tolly <laughs> McTall. Tall McTall. We have Tattoo Man. Yeah. yeah the so the man who said he's five hundred pounds and then says he's like, guess what? You're seven hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you're more. But Which Tattoo Man. I love stuff like that though because that to me is like that is like old school like classic like theatrical vibes of just like it is a show. Like I actually really enjoy that sequence mm-hmm. when he's just like, yeah, well, you know, we'll sell you as this because like. I don't know. I find that to be. Uh, I find mm-hmm. that to be very amusing, and uh, I don't know. I, I actually kind of wanted more of that. I like. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the more. way that he twisted right. reality because he's just a showman. Like, there's there's yeah. something fun in that idea. Have you guys ever been to like one of these like a weird oh, yeah. like sideshow at a carnival? Yeah, it's very what have you upset- seen? It's very upsetting. It's upsetting. I don't want to see it. But what have yeah. you what have you seen? I'm curious. I went. Through, I was like 11 years old. Oh God. And I was at the at the carnival, and I paid, and it was like a. Uh, uh, a small woman. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. it. And and it was it was very upsetting. Just sitting in yeah. like a pen. Yeah, sat right? sitting yeah. on a chair behind a little curtain. Yeah, yeah. It was like at the state fair or something. Yeah, yeah. They're very. They're, no one's ever walked out. No. If thanks. you look at the eyes of the people. <laughs> yeah, everybody. the eyes of the people walking out of those exhibits, <laughs> they, they're not they, happy. No, <laughs> they walk in. <laughs> yes. They walk in happy, leave yeah, sad. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's almost hard. Like, yeah. It's almost like the entire attraction is just an open like tablet leading to Facebook or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You didn't have to do this yeah i don't mean to get like serious too early but like <laughs> this movie doesn't for a second investigate the morality oh, no. of this no. stuff because no, like no, no. freak shows 
are not a nice thing. No, no. It's yeah, taking the not. otherness of people, often people who are who are born with oh, rare yeah. g- yep. genetic dysfunctions, yeah. mm-hmm. and is saying, "Look how fun we can ogle, we can stare." Yeah. And then, but this movie's like, "No, actually, they're beautiful, and the bearded lady can sing." And it's like, <laughs> "No, that's right." No, which not true usually, but <laughs> <laughs> it's exploitation on in its purest in its sense, purest form, and yeah. it, and mm. it's othering, and it is like a. Uh, uh, Fan fanaticizing uh, uh, something that people are made fun of for, and, yeah. and this yeah. movie yeah. is just like, but isn't it beautiful? <laughs> well, it's sort of, it's almost like, it's like um, toxic positivity. It yes. is. <laughs> it's yes. like, it's like they're freaks, but we love them because they're freaky. Toxic and, showman skillinity. Oh, Ooh, it. and this guy has <laughs> tattoos all over his body, which yeah. is a fucking choice. He yeah. wasn't yeah, that's born. That's yeah. He, he wasn't that. born with tattoos. Yeah, yeah he, he, he was. But rad. he did put on a cape, and we love that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we really I, he literally do. just has a cape. And like cuffs, I think for some reason, and tattoos, and that's his whole freak ability. And Which, by the way, we do call them freak powers and freak abilities in this movie. They mm-hmm. they are like the the the, the, the the yeah, they're like the X Men basically. Yeah. yeah, all of them have X Men powers. And Jenny Lind, I guess her freak power is she can sing. Beautiful. She's <laughs> <laughs> So freaky. That's, let's, her, let's that's say, her freaky power. Let's take a moment for the cast of this movie, which is electric. You have a fucking hey, thank you. God damn thank it. you. <laughs> I didn't want to say I it. I feel like you guys are planning this. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Let's take this a moment, a moment of silence for the cast. We just got punked to watch this movie and to have them do prank. their fucking bits Wait, on I wanna, our show. By the way, I want to say for the record and for the listener, anyone that's like that's listening specifically from pretty much it definitely thinks I pitched this to you. I did not. <laughs> yeah. Miles reached out to me and yeah, said, we're doing Greatest inside. Showman, we want you on it. Yeah. I didn't say and shit. And then Eric drove halfway <laughs> across yeah. the country. Not halfway. I, dro- <laughs> I was in New Jersey on Sunday and got to LA on Thursday. What? Yeah. I really was, do live in a van. That's my normal nomad. life. Yeah, that's not a joke. Right, but is, you did it for The Greatest Showman? No, no well, we for other stuff, too. Other but, stuff, yeah. no, well, you know, actually, can you edit that out? Yes, I drove all the <laughs> yeah. way out here for The Greatest Showman podcast. <laughs> so you got fucking Wolverine. In this shit. Oh my god. You've got Zendaya being Michi in this shit. Yeah. You've got Zac Efron. Push, Zac, Efron. Zac, Efron. Zac Efron. Zac Efron. You've got Lady Jessica from Dune. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I cannot fucking believe that she is in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was when she showed up, I was so upset with her and her choices. I was like, you Well, you she fucking- shouldn't have tried to lead on PT Barnum. That- <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's the right. choice I was upset with too. I, I wasn't upset with that. I was upset with. <laughs> you've got <laughs> fucking. I'm sorry. You've got Doctor Manhattan himself, Yaha Abdul Mateen. Oh, that's right. In yeah. like a from bit the, from role. The HBO yeah. Show. yeah. Mm. Just nothing. Just right? he has one line. Okay. Yeah. What character is he? He's, He's Zendaya's, Zendaya's like brother, brother or something. Yeah. Remember, they're, because they're like He's the acrobatic the oh, trapeze right. artists, basically. Yeah, 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 Which, yeah, when yeah. you saw this, he wasn't a thing yet. But yeah. he's, yeah, I mean, fair. he's a this freaking... This will just put him on the map. Incre- <laughs> <laughs> no, an incredible actor. Put him on actor. a map, that's for sure. <laughs> put him Some on your map. map. <laughs> yeah, put him on my map. <laughs> um, now, uh, Garrick, you did have some thoughts about Zendaya that you put in the group chat. Oh, um, my God. I'll, I'll get to that later. I'd love to read that. I'll get to that later. I think now's the time. Okay, now's the time. Now's the time. I think now's the We're not going to be going pleasures and guilt. We're jumping all over we're just talking. We're just ripping. We're just on this talking. Shit. So I, when Zendaya, Zendaya has this love affair with Zac Efron, which you know yeah. because they start to hold hands. They do start to hold hands. <laughs> they have nothing, no established love story at all. At all. <laughs> it's just like he just says, "Who's that?" As she <laughs> trapezes her way back. The who's into that the heard around the world? <laughs> and they're holding hands. I have no reason. I have no reason to believe that they like each other, but for some reason they do. Mm-hmm. His family catches them holding hands, does like a little gaze, and then he lets go of her hand. I'm thinking, oh, that's cool. Like, okay, so she's she. He doesn't want to be seen with the freaks or whatever. <laughs> he doesn't want to be seen with this group of scoundrels. How naive. And then we get further into their relationship. He introduces Zendaya to his family. His family says, first you're you're joining the circus and now you're parading around with the help. And I was confused (laughs) (laughs) because I didn't know that Zendaya was playing a black woman in this film. 
I know that Zendaya is a black woman. I see. I, I see. did not understand that this was an interracial relationship. <laughs> and that that's oh, what... Oh, like that was the focus of the story. And that was the focus of the story. Yeah, she is playing... That is part of her character. I see what and you're saying. Yeah. Zendaya, cast my boy. No son of mine will date someone who is... You're a little racially ambiguous. You're racially what are you? Like showing that off <laughs> that is what are you? You're black, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Black, what yeah. is that? Oh, gosh. They don't fucking know. Like, you yeah. know that they don't know yeah. because we didn't know what The Rock was for years. <laughs> they are on the same <laughs> level. No, everybody everybody knew it was like, he's yeah. Samoan? People like, that weren't, sure. Right, right. That People weren't sure what Pete Davidson Pete was. Pete Davidson was. Yeah. Because like, it was like, oh, I guess this is a black man I technically I guess where and then he's like no 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 I mean he's fully white and that's <laughs> fair there are so many different people who are just racially ambiguous that yeah. just yeah. kind of stay away from what they are yeah. or like mention it and Zendaya she's she does mention that she is African American all, uh, pretty often and mm. that's great yeah you don't look it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. For this character, for, this for that character, point, showing yeah. moment for that in the movie. Point, it does have to be a very obviously. It's a little confusing woman. in the movie, for sure. It's like, oh, oh, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not the expect it's supposed to yeah. have. Yeah, you're just like, like, oh, why is oh, he pissed? Oh, that's, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, fuck, right. <laughs> it, and then it, it's, it's also the fault of, I don't know what period we're in. Yeah, I was just right. like, oh, so I. I guess this is this is the 1800s. So and I yeah. if I'm doing my America, math correct, even though a, some people have kind of British accents, yeah. right? <laughs> and they're wearing like British to, vibes. Yeah, very British vibes. I thought that the dad and they go see the Queen. Yeah, well, that's yeah. when they, that's when they go to see the Queen. Though so they right. have this. This is the fucking fakest anti-racist movie I've ever seen. Yeah, where they're going to see the Queen, and Zendaya steps up and she goes, "Are we all invited?" <laughs> Yeah. She and does. again, and he she goes, goes, well, and at that point, Garrick's like, yeah, you're all fucking invited. Of course you're all invited. You, you can't. You're white. What the fuck? <laughs> you're all white person. I, I, it just has these moments where like, it's trying to say we're not racist, we love everyone, but it never actually talks about it or addresses it. Yeah. It's just trying to it's just trying to solve racism with vibes. Right. Yeah, right, right, right. But have we tried that as a society? <laughs> <laughs> have we tried that as a society? <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Why don't we, tr you know, check under every rock? Let's try. Let's try vibes. It's just like, hey man, I feel your vibe. There you go. Yeah, it's like, yeah, racism solved. No, it didn't work. I, I feel like we tried vibes and it didn't work. It didn't work at all. Summer of vibes. I think that a lot of the movie tries to tries to smooth over things with, with like, the vibe. What if the vibe was really good? Yeah. What if we? <laughs> We don't like was... freaks in this town. What if we just fucking uh, chill out? Counterpoint, sir. Vibes. Yeah, vibes. Counterpoint. Well, what, if we, what, if, what if we put them all in a tent on the brink of the city? Like, that helps, right? <laughs> on the brink of the city. <laughs> I, while we're talking about our dear, dear Zendaya, there's something... I mean, she was very young. She was very young and when very... When they filmed this movie. She was very yeah. good in the this movie. This is 2017 it came out. Right? Oh, so 2017, 2016, so 2016 so, probably shot, yeah. Okay, something I mean, like so she was like 21 or something. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Zac Efron um, was 40. No, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe. There's something about her as like, the. I, I just found it hard to buy into, and maybe it's because I'm so used to her as a child in every piece of media that she's in. So mm. that's the, like, that is an issue that she has found herself running into constantly that just like, I feel like she's been, Oh, pretty open about yeah. about how people still see her as like a Disney kid, and she's like, "I'm a she full looks young adult. too." She just, yeah, she looks like young. forever yeah, young, right. looking. baby faced kind of yeah. And it's like I under I fully understand the frustration that she's going through a little bit. Sure, it's like oh, I'm yeah, I could play a grown up now. You guys don't have right. to keep treating me yeah, like a child. What was that black and white Zac movie? Efron. It's kind of what, what yeah. was that? Because I that I you, that turned you on. That turned, <laughs> you, on. That turned <laughs> you on. Zac Efron is another person that I kind of had a hard time seeing as older. Yeah. If I'm being if I'm being completely honest, he does have like a man jawline Younger and all that stuff. Guy. But I'm just like, I, you still look young in the face. So yeah. their age still kind of worked for me. I oh, so it worked. Yeah. The, the two of them the actually worked. Them, okay. the so you them loved worked. it. This, I was going to say, this I, is coming back around to a positive. <laughs> you loved it. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Come on, the, when they are swinging up in the like, Spider-Man and the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did get that. That, <laughs> that number is so dangerous. Oh, yeah. totally. They're having, Zac Efron and Zendaya have this love ballad scene where mm -hmm. they're they're doing like aerial silks together. Yeah. And I was just waiting for one of them to break their neck. Okay, yeah. well, what about when Tom Cruise 
climbs on the side of a plane and flies yeah. it into a cliff or whatever. <laughs> we call that cinema. Do but you leave yeah. the theater because it's too scary and dangerous? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're comparing the greatest showman <laughs> to, to the greatest to showman. One of, one of our greatest yeah. showmen, absolutely. That's right. I, by the way, if this had a sequel, Tom Cruise is going to be front and center. What? Playing who? Um, Bar- Barnum? No, well, no the, sorry, Ringling, uh, uh, the Ringling, Ringling Brothers. Ringling, yeah. We posited a sequel where, you know, of course, it's, Kitty e. Barnum too, the Ringling Brothers curse. Or the but, rise of Bailey. Oh, the rise of the like other that, yeah. I do think that this is maybe <laughs> so what is what is the whole story with that trio of people? Like Bailey came in, the Ringling Brothers came in. What is See, that? What I'm is glad that? you asked because I actually have started a petition for Greatest Showman 2, and you'll find out everything you need to know. <laughs> when the I almost wish I was recording out. Garrick being like, Do you guys know the ring was to pan over to you in a top hat? <laughs> being like, I'm glad you asked. Yeah, well, I'm glad <laughs> now, you Now, Garrick, I can tell you the story, but it'd be a lot easier if I could sing it. No, you better <laughs> fucking not. <laughs> Don't fucking sing shit. <laughs> um,. But uh, by the way, we haven't talked about one character at all yet, and it feels appropriate because she definitely gets sort of like you know she plays oh, second fiddle. Michelle Williams. Michelle character. Williams. Yeah. I texted our group chat and I'm like, man, Michelle Williams deserves more. <gasps> she. Yeah. Meanwhile, okay, hold on, because did you not see? Did you see the headlines the other day, like about two weeks what? ago? Um, she was talking about, I guess she was maybe talking about, was she in Morbius? No, she's in Venom. She's in right? Venom. Excuse she's me, Venom. sorry. So she doesn't deserve better. No, right, yeah, she gets what she deserves. <laughs> she <gets. laughs> she's doing this to herself. <laughs> but no, um, no. The she, second Venom was very good. Um, <laughs> she, sorry. I think she was talking, they were asking about Venom, whatever, and they were like, what, like, what movie would you want to do? And she goes, I would, oh God, I really hope they do a showman sequel. I loved that so much. It was so much oh. fun. And then Hugh Jackman caught wind and someone was interviewing him and they were like, what do you think about Michelle wanting a sequel? And he's like, I'm ready. I'm ready for the sequel. Yeah. I hope we do it. Yeah. Like, And then it started like snowballing he, to like everybody involved was like, we got to do a sequel. He so loves she loves good, it. He, he loves, loves a good it. song and dance. There was yeah. a thread about that. It was like, you know, Hugh Jackman did Wolverine so he could do <laughs> the greatest showman yeah. and like do- Just he's Broadway in, in general. Broadway. Broadway. Right. Yeah, like That's, he, yeah, Wolverine was the one for them. Yeah. Showman is the one for me. He yeah. loves being a Broadway song yeah. and dance, yep. like little yeah. tap shoe kind of guy. He's in Les Mis. Is he yeah. He is. Yeah. Yeah. Is Les Mis. That's probably why you that's thought prob- this that's was going to be another Les Mis. That's what I thought we were going to watch. I was <laughs> like, oh, we're going to die to totally bite it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, spoiler for Les Mis. But, um, <laughs> uh, spoilers <laughs> for Les Mis. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, he, by the, I should mention, speaking of him do, being song and dance, I did go see when he did his Hugh Jackman live tour. But it, he literally did like, he did Les Mis, he did Showman, he did a Wolverine bit, he did everything. He brought out, is it Keel Saddle or Keel Seedle, something like that, who plays the bearded lady? I can't, I oh, know. she's uh-huh. incredible. I mean, she's she amazing showed singer. up and did This Is Me. It was, it was phenomenal. He is like... He truly is the greatest showman. Like he, he himself <laughs> he in this to world. Do this. Yes, yeah, he's yes. amazing. Like his, he's an amazing. But, but they could have just called the character Hugh Jackman, and it would have been a great movie too. Honestly, <laughs> whatever. It's like him on like behind the scenes. He just rapped playing Logan, and he like pulls off <laughs> the, the sideburns. Yeah, the sideburns. Like, I hear the beating of the drum. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't doubt that that is accurate. More accurate oh than we'll God. realize. Yeah, he's so great, man. He's he's great. I love him. I love him to death. And I watched this movie and I was like, I wish you made better choices. <laughs> <laughs> so now, wait a minute. Let's talk about this. Yeah. It did huge box office, this movie. Oh, and huge. the album was huge. Of it's course. still huge. So from that perspective, it is like, well, how do we unpack that? I I understand its flaws, obviously. Like, I'll, I'll yeah. sorry, I'll take off my showman hat and be real. <laughs> yeah. I understand the flaws. I totally understand the criticisms. I love the movie, of course, even despite its flaws. Uh, but I understand the flaws. People loved it. So is this just like a, we are people that like watch movies maybe Mm. more often than like the general public goes and sees like a movie a month, if even. And this is like, the best movie they've ever seen just because they're not comparing it to movies as often, I guess. Like what what is it? You know what I mean? It's it's, it was huge. You were just, it's a pure joy, I feel like, to watch. Like four people. Can we, can we, can we get that on no, the poster? No, 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 no. <laughs> because God, I agree with that. It's I completely put my show and have that gone for that one. <laughs> Actually, Actually, this is how sound bites get out. <laughs> <laughs> but also, he's going to be like, well, you got to listen to me in context. Go back to it. The context is awesome, the same. <laughs> off of a technicality, <laughs> you are watching people <laughs> sing and dance yeah, in a fucking yeah. circus. It's so like a yeah, like, Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah, it is a, it, it's a sitcom as a movie. It's a bad sitcom as a movie <laughs> where you're just, yeah. you don't want to think about anything it's else. Popcorn. Yes. It's popcorn. Yeah. It's popcorn. It's a popcorn it's, movie. There's, is, uh, sorry. I I, in my opinion, it's like, it's empty calories, yeah. but it gives you that buttery flavor. Yeah. Now, you know, obviously, Zach, you're sort of a Hollywood elite type guy. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But if I'm like working in the mill 
working in the mill all day, you know, yeah. and I get home. Don't I want a little? Don't I deserve a little? Pop- <laughs> I, mean, I think that you do. He's yeah. dressed up like you popcorn deserve right a little now. Popcorn. popcorn if I could hold on, just uh, put my espresso on hold, That's and right, yeah. I come down you, you, from my my house in the hills. Yeah, to you talk come to out of little the, people. You come out of the coal mine, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you come out of coal mine, and you're in like, the distance oh, I guess, you hear, I guess Zendaya is black. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. In Sick. The, in the distance, you hear. The he starts like wiping like all like the soot off and he's like I gotta yeah. get there walks into the theater takes a seat no ticket not even buying a ticket That's right. and ha- and starts crying weeping the tears it, streaming down his face oh, it is yeah. from the opening too with the like whoa 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 it's like this is a rock and roll musical <laughs> and yeah. it's like this ain't your daddy's stuffy musical okay Jonathan Larson whoa! eat my ass <laughs> we're gonna kick some fucking ass yeah Sondheim can suck my ass <laughs> yeah. whoa whoa <laughs> Garrick just looked like Garrick was really <laughs> upset. Um, I <laughs> we started singing. Sorry. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you mentioned the box office of this movie, yeah. and it is it was such huge. a fascinating anomaly because mm. I was going to say this for the fun facts, but fuck it, we're here. <laughs> yeah. it, this whole it, movie's been fun facts for me. This whole <laughs> podcast. <laughs> it it if you don't know, it opened at number four. It <gasps> bombed. It yeah. was it was Christmas a weekend or something tremendous oh. bomb. Feels like a second movie. week. Yeah, it was still at number four. This movie never reached number one, but it refused to die. Yeah, I'm right. Because and it did Eric box Triffler, office than number one movies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> because he was bringing. But like the word of mouth was tremendous, yeah. and it just built and built and chugga chugga chugga. <laughs> and so it is. I I don't know exactly, but it's like one of the top ten highest grossing musicals. Ever. Yeah. But, yeah it's and it's roots. one of the top, it's like the third or fourth highest grossing movie to never reach number one. Insane. Yeah. Wow. What's the first? I, yeah, I would love, <laughs> I'd love to know what the first is. Ch- I'll pull yeah, that's, it up and. That's, that's a really that interesting. I'm going to. So you were saying before, you were saying, was there any single fun fact you could say that I wouldn't already know? And that was it. Oh, there you go. I love that, though. I really want to look up the list of those. But that's to a your, crazy thing. To your question and point, that this yep. clearly struck a nerve. And, and like, we are having fun. Uh, joking about this movie, but I know for a fact people listening right now are like, I fucking love this. Yeah. And I was watching this in the office today, and Ned walked by and goes, This is the greatest show. <laughs> he knows it. And yeah. I'm like, That's mm-hmm. the fucker who loves this shit. Yes. <laughs> no, Ned, Ned is the target. Loved yeah, it. yeah, that's yeah. Target, target demo. demo. I will say, there's, there's, the, you know, you're saying there might be people listening that are like, "This is my favorite movie ever," but like, there are things to criticize about it. Of course, like, of course. I feel like I'm not, uh, I'm not like on Twitter much, but I, I do, I see that like on Twitter, people are like, "This movie's perfect. You can't change my mind." Blah blah. blah. And it's like, no, every movie you could say something about. Yeah. Like, it's really, you know, there's nothing to get mad about. I love this movie, but also I can make fun of it. Whatever. Does because the greatest <laughs> showman fan community so. have a name? The showman. Showman. The, the showman. showman. Okay. There you go. I have showman. a group chat called the showman on my phone, which is my friend. Actually, <laughs> picked a brand. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, how are your friends doing? That made fun of you for this? Oh, we do make. He's fun right of here. Oh, 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 we definitely make fun. Of but him. you mean the ones who saw that? Saw saw uh, can I tell you what? They were all at his wedding and they all sang along. That's hey. true. Wow. So I'll say that. But uh, like <laughs> you so said, the movie though, is just infectious. It is infectious. It is. No, but see what yeah. you're saying though about it being like a true joy to watch is the reason that I've seen it thrice. Yeah. yeah. It's like I saw it the first time and I was like. Oh, like the music was fun, but like whatever. I don't know. It's like so much of it was so weird or whatever. But you keep listening, and yeah. you're like, it's never enough. It's just it's, no, it's never, a, never. It's a movie that lived off of replay value. Oh, in the mu- oh, soundtrack is yeah. really fun. It's like Panic the Disco, the musical. They, you know, they like, redid it's it. Like, yeah, they literally redid it. I'm gonna tell you this on the record. Oh. I watched it today. Didn't care for it. Yeah. yeah, would love to watch it again with you. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's I, part of it. I think that's how you get. Gladly. That's how you get trapped. Yep. Yeah, when you, <laughs> <laughs> get red that's how you get trapped under the tent. Build. <laughs> oh, fucking show <laughs> it! <laughs> like, don't do it. Don't just watch it one time and just let it you know, evaporate out of your mind. Now there are things that we can critique, but one scene that cannot be poked <gasps> a single hole in. Ooh. The greatest fight scene you will ever see in cinema. There is a... You don't even remember it? What? Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I howled. I, I don't even remember. I it. screamed. He watched okay. the deluxe edition where, where <laughs> Bennett fist fights Barnum. <laughs> they, it's a quick scene, but you have these... Okay, so there are these people protesting That's the right, show. the freaks yeah. outside right. when they're like, get out of here. Yeah. And Zac Efron goes, I'm going to ask you to leave once. Oh, yeah, that's great. And, they, and he steps up and he goes like, or what? And then Yaha Abdul-Mateen throws a fucking piss and the yeah. sound... The bone crunching yeah. 
punch sound. Yeah. Miles has his top hat, top hat on because he's back on board. That's right. He's wearing his sort of Puritan hat, yeah. though. Yeah. They are giving every single punch in this movie you know, the sound as if the Hulk was breaking someone's skull. Yeah. yeah. It is blood splattering. Mm, there don't, is, don't underestimate a freak punch. In, the, <laughs> in that scene when the freaks join in, when the freaks yeah. fight back, <laughs> um, the freaks, so, there's the scene. So the bearded lady <laughs> goes, <is>? Charge! <laughs> She says charge. Poor Barnum. And then somebody does a, like a flying Superman. <laughs> yes. Punch. yes. It's People start doing front the, flips. The tattoo man runs in and full winter soldier jumps yeah. into the air yeah. and punches <laughs> down. Yeah. 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 Fucking full and like, superhero shit on and wires. Then somebody else like Rey Mysterio flips yeah, yeah. somebody else. And you're like, what the fuck is this movie? <laughs> See, and you buy it. You <laughs> believe it. <laughs> you believe it. The fat man, and that is his name in the movie. That yeah. is his name. Yeah. Not an yeah. insult, I'm saying. Uses his belly to go boing and yeah. bounces somebody away. This is full <laughs> well, X-Men can't fight him. scene. He probably oh my can't God. reach him. It is fucking wild. Yeah. And I want to yeah. say, if you're it's wondering if you're wondering if we're insulting people by seeing free, that's all in the movie. That's yeah, their the language, yeah. not yeah. ours. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think we literally said that in the track. Yeah, we were, we were calling them freaks. And then I was like, we didn't call them freaks. No, That's no, their the word. movie yeah. calls them freaks. Their chosen name. Yeah. The freak effect. <laughs> it's their chosen name. But yeah, you just, as a little treat, you get like a full zero to 60 yeah. MCU That's right. fight scene where you get to see all of the freaks unleash their oh power. Well, and it is just an unbelievable sight to behold. I'm going to need that edited with the Inven Avengers music underneath. <laughs> Need to have like them walking in through a portal. What you wanted more? Like, oh yeah, they, at the end of they, just, they just yell on your left. Yeah. <laughs> on your left. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, a beard goes like flying by. What was that? On your left. The beard. The beard reloads. <laughs> Zach Efron calls the beard onto his face, and then the bearded lady's like, "I knew he could do it." <laughs> oh my god. Mr. Barnum, I don't feel so good. Oh my god. Yeah, Carlisle is just yeah, shit. So what would we want to see in a sequel? Can I ask that? Can I ask that, Miles? Yeah, I mean, hey. <laughs> what would we want to see? If if there were to be a sequel, what would you want to see? Potentially to make up for the sins of the predecessor, even. I want to see do? his real life. I want to see <laughs> yeah. all of the horrible shit. I want to see the horrors that he gets into. It's like him beheading an elephant and stuff. I mean, yeah. he the guy like yeah, executed ahead. elephants yeah. on on at the circus. Wasn't and, there like, when the when the fire happened? Didn't he have animals in t in tanks like like uh, like a dolphin or something? Oh, yeah, and, and it they cooked? boiled. Yeah. They boiled. Oh, God, it's like atrocity. Like, <laughs> it's like horrible. Atrocities. It's un unbelievable. Hey, I guess I but it's New York in the eighteen hundreds. Hey, 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 well, hey. And what I always say about that is, you know, hey, Hamilton wasn't like that either. Yeah, that's well. That was my whole thing. Was that? Yeah, they didn't rap. <laughs> Well, but yeah, but that was that that was actually Miles bringing up that was my whole thing when we watched Hamilton together. Yeah. I did say I was like, why do people have problems with them glossing over the history of these guys, but not these guys? Yeah, right. And there are different factors. Well, well, I mean, the cast looks people different. do wait. People, oh, people do, do have do. problems. Not, wait, as, people, not problems. as much. Not as much though. You didn't see anywhere near as much like vitriol for that for Zagreus Showman, which I understand. And yeah, again, yeah. the cast also matters. <laughs> <laughs> That's because everybody in love Hamilton was fucking white, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> everybody is looking at Hamilton like, huh? These are all. Slave owners <laughs> rapping. But so then there you go. So if, no, if I don't think I fuck with this. Look. But no, my point is, I don't know what the difference the, there. I, I do think that I, I got to go back to. I really when when I'm talking about this movie and like criticizing I love it, Hamilton, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry. To tell um, myself, I just, fuck. I, <laughs> I watched that way late in the game. I didn't get into that late. And I watched it. and I was like, wait a minute. But these people also were like, what the f you know? So I, that's why I thought of it. Like it was way late in the game. But yeah. the um the thing is. Any criticism of the P.T. Barnum aspect of it washes over me only because I don't need it to be P.T. Barnum. Right. Like I said before, sure, right. it could uh, have been a made-up be character. A, 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 you weren't so a I'm fan like, yeah. before. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm just You just like, love Hugh Jackman. I yeah, love Hugh course. Jackman. I love the music and the and the dance sequences and stuff like that. And it's like, if this is really that much of an issue, like just change his name. Make it anybody else. And I still enjoy the movie. So I think that's why I'm like, I understand the criticism of the P.T. Barnum aspect of it. P sounds like a piece of shit, that guy. Yeah. But... Uh, I, it's it's just like it's not necessary that it even is P.T. Barnum technically for me to enjoy it. Right. You know, I guess you could say the same this, about Hamilton. They okay. could make up names for them too, and I'd still so enjoy this, it. So this this is truly making me feel like 
um, uh -oh. how the Elvis movie is going to probably turn out. Oh. Where I'm, oh. I, it's just like. That's Baz Luhrmann. Oh. That's going to yeah, be Bos nuts. Luhrmann. It's going to yeah. be really wild yeah. and it's going to really gloss over some things. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. Because Elvis, I'm sure he was a famous person in that era. Of yeah. course there's going to be. Old, yeah. How old was like, he? Like, like 15? Kind yeah. Of yeah. Sure that right. won't be in it. No, yeah. right. Like, yeah. it's like. Yeah. And like the way that he got his dance moves is because he loved yeah. black church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. That won't make it. Oh, you might. That is in it. I was going to say that it might make it in. Yeah. And then him not giving a dime to them is also the original not TikTok. in it. Oh, it's not in it. <laughs> it's really? Like, I don't think so. Literally the original TikTok. There you go. So it's just like yeah. when you look back at these characters, if anybody were to find this movie and be like, oh, I'm going to take this as a piece of history, they're yeah. going to be like, oh, P.G. Barnum, Barnum was sick, bro. Like, and just, yeah. No, no, he wasn't. He was a piece of shit. Yeah. And I it's mean, so dangerous yeah, to have sure. that out there. In fairness, though, you could say that about a lot of movies. If somebody picks up a, like any movie and just goes like, this must be exactly accurate. You could say that about about a lot of movies. Well, that's, that's the problem with biopics, is it's like... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even, even we the, love Social um, Network, we were talking about before. We love Social oh. Network. That's not perfectly accurate. Maybe, oh, no. you, you know. Love Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Oh, love oh, that guy. No. no like, but, there's, yeah. a, there's a scene at the... <laughs> it starts off saying... It is not, I, people are not going to like you. Girls are not going to yeah, like you. And yeah. it's not because you're a nerd. It's because you're an asshole. Yeah. Well, the funny thing That's about, the beginning scene of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I think the only bad thing about Social Network is that you leave the movie going like, man, Mark Zuckerberg's a sad guy. As opposed to, right. oh, Mark he's Zuckerberg a piece of shit. is yeah. evil. Yeah, he's evil. Well, no, and the, but the, you know, the thing about Social Network is in reality, he didn't do those things for love. He did them because he just wanted power. Right. Yeah. Like, that's my like, point. Like, you could watch that movie and think like, oh, yeah, I should feel bad for this guy. Like, so, yeah. that, that, you know, like, yeah, anyone going into this movie and thinking that this is how things happened it's like well yeah. i mean that's an I'm, overall movie thing back to the social network thing i did <laughs> not feel bad i did not feel bad for him at all i was like if you really like think, yeah. look at it he's just like oh no you're doing all the it's shitty pathetic. things yeah that that people do when they yeah. get money <laughs> it's almost like in the greatest showman where he gets <laughs> It's like in that scene where he doesn't put them in his box because they're too visible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah. that as a, a <laughs> whole film. I forgot about yeah. that. If they extrapolate that and make that a whole movie, that's a social network. Yeah. And you go back and you're just like, oh, I feel bad for him. It's like, no, I don't. You're a piece of Look shit. Look what you did throughout the movie. Yeah, yeah, Do yeah. Do you think that even Hugh Jackman himself would describe The Greatest Showman as a biopic? No, no. I know. We're throwing that around, but no way. I don't think so. No way. Way. Probably He's not. Like, oh, it does show him from like yeah. childhood, though. I get to sing and dance. He's with his tap It's shoes. a movie about a <laughs> life but let's not it's uh, a time in, in his life it's it's yeah. mostly about like a year of his life or, or no i guess a couple years of his life what am i saying but i've yeah. been on one today so i'm gonna dig way too deep into this movie oh, and Jesus. I'm, I'm Please. curious how you feel it. about this take but i feel like the greatest showman is a <laughs> dullard's individualist and capitalist fantasy oh a dullard's dullard yeah. that yeah. means dumb <laughs> the irony of having to ask what was that as dullard? soon as I asked it I knew that I had dug my own you grave you fell right into his little trap yeah. oh my god what a, what a self alley -oop. it's like it's like if you fucking threw up the ball oh my god. for LeBron to dunk on you what's a dollar to, to hit you in the face yeah, to punch to me in the face for LeBron it. to punch me in the ass oh my god Ooh. to do a freak a freak punch from the air a flying freak punch. <laughs> that sounds like a great little beverage at a party. Yeah. <laughs> so we've established that they uh, have fabricated many things about his life, and oh, they yeah. fabricate his black his backstory, uh, and they present him as why he's an ideas man. You see, and if only people would listen to him, he could find success and make the world a better place. And they they have this real rags to riches thing. His father. From what I can tell, does not seem like he was poor. His grandmother was a a prominent political figure. He <laughs> had many businesses throughout his early 20s before he was not like this like lowly sales clerk. Like he was he was a grifter his entire life. His yeah. grandmother but married Todd Lincoln if you can imagine. <laughs> Are you serious? No, no, no. Oh, oh um, the prominent political. Oh. I mean, get get at me historians. I don't know the full life of his uh, um but there's a line in it where it says comfort, the enemy of progress. And I feel like this movie presents an almost Ayn Randian level <laughs> philosophy of free will objectivism yeah. where it's like, this is when America was great. If you, when, when people with great ideas could just go after it and do what they want. And, and he was a big dreamer who saw things different and that's why he succeeded. No, he succeeded because he was a fucking grifter criminal mm. who got away with shit because he was a white dude exploiting people. Yeah.
And yeah. it's uh, like I said, toxic positivity. Yeah. yeah. Like, what if we could just this bad guy? What if he wasn't a bad guy? He was just vibes, man. <laughs> he was just yeah. vibes. He's fucking. It actually, it's just fully... as you just described it, it did remind me of the Social Network, where it's like, yeah. uh, you know, like a rags to riches, but it's a guy like coming to power terrifyingly. It, me, it makes me think of like Steve Jobs or something, where like you mm. know they, he could be portrayed in a movie as like rags to riches, but it's like. You know, um, I don't know. I find that to be interesting. The way you just described it brought it back around to the social network. Out. Anytime I, I can bring up Ayn Rand sucking ass, I'm, I'm <laughs> down the party. Uh, but like, I feel, I feel like he was the type of person that was going around to these people and being like, "Hey, man, I can pay you two pennies. Like, that's that's good whoa. for you. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. amazing oh, for yeah, you. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like conning them into. Yeah. And also, those people are very like you know they're not making any susceptible no yeah. they're, they're not making they're any really money. abused by society yeah. so he's really yeah. like there was there yeah. was a, a a span of time in high school where my <laughs> friends or like God. where people were watching um it was i think it was called bum fights i know what you were gonna say yeah yeah, yep. yeah, yeah i yeah. remember that i it's just and Everybody was like, oh, my God, this is fucking incredible. And then you, you see them like, hey, give them $10 or something it's like, like that. Yeah, this is, this, is, this, yeah. this is terrible. Similar. This is terrible similar. exploitation. He was doing the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty similar vibe. No, this this guy, I here. He was the girls gone wild of the 1800s. Well, now, hold on. His father, <laughs> Freaks was, gone a, wild. His father was a tailor, but he was also an innkeeper and storekeeper. And I don't think, based on that description, that he was like a f dirty Oliver Twist wow. Like street baby, <laughs> the way they present him was a triple yeah. threat. Yeah. They, Covered in mud. In this yeah. movie, he's like they. I wrote down. I was like, it's my fault, sir. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah, yeah. First of all, yeah. he's a British child. Yeah, 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 actually, <laughs> yeah he's fully that's Oliver a good Twist. Point. <laughs> he's fucking, but like covered yeah. in soot. Still, and I, oh my fucking god, if anyone is listening and you have any power, if I have to see a child sing in a flashback in a movie ever again, I'm going to go insane. Was it a flashback was... at that point? The movie started there. Next question. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Next question. I, so I re it reminded me of a million dreams. <laughs> I, I fucking hate that kid. The for, mic just swings through the wall. <laughs> I. It reminded me of Rocket Man when you watch the little young Elton yeah, John yeah. Sing, yeah. sing Crocodile Rock. And then I found out that this director was supposed to direct Rocket Man. You can oh, say, wow. say his name, Michael Gracie. <laughs> what say it loud, say it proud. It would have. It, so oh, I haven't seen Rocket Man. No. Like Rocket Do you want to see a child sing Crocodile Rock? No, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> God. Boy, I remember for every time when Rock that. was young. <laughs> but the thing, they had so much fun. The what more I think about it, kick that kid. Oh, the shit. more I don't feel like it is the director's fault because I, I for don't what? for for great show for this movie. Yeah, because I the direction's I, great. The direction the, felt yeah, it is his good. Fault, it's like so all good. the performances yeah. came out and all that stuff. <laughs> like everybody was like on their a game. There's some fun choreography. There's some fun choreography. Yeah. So yeah. I think that he should have got Rocket Man. Yeah. Who got Rocket Man? I don't know. But I for, yeah, so I don't know why. What, what you're saying though, Garrick, is that <laughs> nope, it's not nope, the director's I'm not fault. That. It's not <laughs> Hugh Jackman's fault because you love Hugh Jackman, and yeah. it's not really anyone else's fault. So yeah. it seems like you loved. This. No, I didn't say everybody else's. <laughs> I think the script is poor. Oh, yeah, I, think script, okay. have, yeah. I think they shouldn't really have started the problem. movie in the first place. <laughs> so I think it's the producer's <laughs> oh, fault. Oh yeah, right. Get him in here. Yeah. So everyone else. You named two people. <laughs> well, Hugh and the director made this movie in a little shack. They kind of yeah. did, did. They worked on it for like a decade. That's so they awesome. Sorry, though. I should say they wanted to get it made for like a decade. Yeah, I got it. Is it time for fun facts? Yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. Do the theme song, Miles. Fun facts. So th this was <laughs> oh a God. dream project for Hugh Jackman since 2009. Yep. It took him mm. over seven years to convince studio execs that people would watch it. And he was right. To he be was clear. right. He was really yeah. right. But they were also kind of right. <laughs> They were, they were, they were like, <laughs> they were like, a studio execs were like, hey man, um, at what cost? Do you, at what cost? Yeah. yeah. Do you know who PT Barnum was and yeah. is? And do you think that doesn't matter? People would. <laughs> <laughs> is that Australian? <laughs> is that Australian? Uh, <laughs> That's what he sounds you like. You know when exactly. it, like stories come out that like Eric Trump bought like 10,000 copies of his book to make it a bestseller? Yeah. I feel like Hugh Jackman was buying tickets for this movie. Be like, come on, we got to keep it in theaters yeah. and then people will catch on. And yeah. he bought it like yeah, over the weeks. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. why it stayed at number four. Yeah, he had like a server farm in Korea. <laughs> yeah, just watching the movie, going and buying tickets. Did this movie do anything globally? 
Like, that's I'm, a great I, question. I'm curious was, if it's like I hit across the board. I could, yeah. I should yeah. pull that up. That's awesome. Because keep in mind, that's also music is universal. Of course, so like you yeah, can just yeah, watch yeah. it. And, you know, it doesn't matter what it's yeah. about. If anything, people out there are probably cheering him on. Like he's a great guy. <laughs> they don't oh, even yeah. know what it's about. That's right. <laughs> Again, it's dangerous. <laughs> it's a dangerous thing to be I out do there. See that. Although, so you know, our boy Hugh knew exactly what he was doing. He read some three dozen books on P.T. Bar- Barnum. This is a quote from him. I read That's too thir- much. I read 37 books on Barnum and I could make 37 <laughs> different movies. What? Is that a threat or a promise to you? <laughs> Where's a- the, there's going to be 37 of these. Okay, that's irresponsible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For him to be like, and I know like, who this guy he's was. He's like, and skip, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, skip, 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 skip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one's done. This book is done. So, how many books are there about fucking P.T. Barnum? <laughs> like, who is out there writing P.T. Barnum well, historical also, books? That, that actually doesn't make sense because, yeah, again, my thing is, like, you could have made it not about P.T. Barnum. It could have been the exact <laughs> yeah. same movie. So, the, fa- the, the facts of P.T. Barnum's life are irrelevant yeah. to the movie. Like, it didn't, it, well, you don't even need to know anything about the guy. You could have just gone and sang and danced. Yeah. Who cares? That's interesting. That's very odd. So I'd like to read you uh, some troubling facts about his life. <laughs> oh my god! Um, we we touched on some, so I won't I right. won't go back. Yeah. Um, but P.T. Barnum was a grifter, uh, and mm-hmm. he is widely credited with coining the adage, though there's no evidence that he actually said this. <laughs> a there's a sucker born, born every, every minute, minute. <laughs> which I want to see that movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. P- Greatest <clears throat> Showman two suckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I uh, go. I'm sorry. Just really quick. I f- have a theory that <laughs> Hugh Jackman signed on to The Prestige because he thought it was going to be this movie. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, top hats, yeah, I'm, say I'm, less. I'm a sucker for a top hat. Yeah, I'm less. on. I, I'm in there. And Come then on, Chris. Like, when can I sing? Yeah, right. That was when my Australian when, accent. <laughs> <laughs> when, do we, when do we start singing? Oh, no. This is about cloning. <laughs> what? Oh, they said crooning. <laughs> <laughs> When do the uh, elephants come to set? Uh, uh, you. It's like there's no, ele- there's there's no, no elephants. elephants. And actually, when did that movie come out? Because was that around the time that he I started working on Greatest Showman? I think this is about that time. Oh, I oh, bet so. Fine, if you won't make that, earlier. I'll, I'll, I'll do the other I'll top do it myself. Shit. One for you That's and one right. for me, like yeah. I said. The Prestige walked so the Greatest Showman could run. Oh my God. No, the Prestige <laughs> sprinted so the Greatest <laughs> Showman could stumble down the stairs. <laughs> for, four, uh, for, for four months at number four at the box office. Yeah, it was the Prestige happened in 2006. So it is very okay, plausible so right after that. that he was just like, I want to do a P.T. Barnum movie. He was like, I loved wearing a top hat. Yeah. yeah. I have it to fit well. do that again. Yeah. Yeah. The, I like also, by the way, as he reads these troubling facts, I, I was get you have to like, look, you see like my hands like digging into the chair. <laughs> yeah. You're getting yeah, ang- angry. About <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm freaky. T- <laughs> well, as I mentioned, he had many businesses before. He had oh, a yeah. newspaper business. He had a lottery scheme. I haven't dug into what that means. I would love to know. Yeah. Um, but so fun. But this is uh Uh-oh. How did he begin his career <gasps> as a showman? Some may call him the greatest showman. I do. Well, <laughs> he, he, <laughs> when he was 25. <laughs> so I will say, I'm going to go ahead to the future, and I'm going to... Yeah say mm-hmm. that later in life he became a, a, a senator he, he worked in the government and he actually did speak out against slavery and was part oh. of oh. Uh, ratifying uh, 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 the constitution before that <laughs> not such a good dude yikes hey listeners just wanted to hop in really quick and give you just a quick trigger warning uh, Zach's about to describe one of the particularly brutal acts that P.T. Barnum did commit if you don't want to listen to it that's okay just skip forward about 60 seconds after this ends and just trust us that it is incredibly racist incredibly abusive and fucked up just wanted to give you the warning and again you can skip forward 60 seconds about now if you would like to avoid it yeah. Uh, he admitted to owning slaves, yikes. to whipping them. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yikes. When Keep he going. was 25, he purchased and exhibited a blind and almost completely paralyzed slave woman named Joyce Heth, oh. uh, who cl- claims to be 161 years old. Um, slavery had already been outlawed at this point, but he exploited oh. a loophole, which allowed him to lease her for a year yeah, for $1,000. Yeah. Um, and then she died at 80. Uh, he had worked her to 10 to 12 hours a day and then upon her death he hosted this is like so deep. I don't know if yeah. we can include this it's, <laughs> in the yeah, episode it's so it, unbelievably brutal. people need to hear the truth I guess so this is so bleak what yeah. I'm about to say yeah he hosted a live autopsy of her body and then they revealed her age I, yeah that's a guilt for me <laughs> this is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
guilty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's guilty. The movie? There's but a guilty. How do you take that? I, I, and turn it into yeah. this candy in, popcorn movie. Do you agree with just change his name? Yeah. I cannot support this movie in any way, shape, yeah. or form. But do you wait, but do you on, agree? Do you agree that if they just made up a random character doing yeah. the exact same things, it would be better? Why is it P.T. Barnum? Right. Why is it this guy that has yeah. this horrible past? It feels like they're, they're it's such who a cares? weird choice. Man, what a weird They could have made it all and up. And Hugh Jackman Fucking read God. all of these. Hugh Jackman knew he read this. these books and he Yeah. <laughs> Good night, babe. <laughs> Uh, Wait, he, let me dream of PT tonight. What if he made? What if we made of just a good guy? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what are you talking what are you about? Talk, we can't. We can't make him a and good guy. And he's like, watch me. And yeah. then he, there's w no way. Watch me. It's, it's there's crazy. no way that there's any interviews about this, right? No way. There's oh. no. He, so he when, has to avoid when that. When he was doing well, so then what? What you know? What were interviewers told around that time, like on the press tour. Oh, they sure were they were probably reporter. like, don't bring up P.T. Barnum's <laughs> Don't bring up P.T. Barnum at all talking <laughs> it's about a this movie. movie. Yeah, that's so unbelievably <laughs> That's brutal. so weird. That's yeah, that so is weird. Crazy. What, what a, weird a choice. fucking choice. Yeah. And this movie could not... <laughs> Could not be more cheerful from start to finish. It is it the could, happiest movie. It could yeah. not. It could not inspect. Did I, did I ruin it for you? No, <laughs> no I, just, God, I hope so. It's, honestly, <laughs> it makes so much sense of picturing you, Jack, and in a meeting. <laughs> Itching. No one wants to hear all that. <laughs> and everybody saying no for seven or eight yeah. years. People being like, I did a quick Google. And this, this is, this is, yeah. yeah. The autofill on Google said P.T. Barnum slavery. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. For the record, I just went to Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> I, right. It was real quick. It was very easy to right. find this. Right. Um, oh my god. Oh it my took god. one courageous producer to finally say yeah. <laughs> one one courageous producer's kid honestly <laughs> yeah. Eric, you know you that did, was an exec son you did ask by the way what the sequel is going to be well he was oh, um, ready uh he was married of course to michelle williams character for mm -hmm. until she passed away but a few months after his wife's death he married nancy fish his friend's daughter who was 40 years his junior yikes um yeah that um Sounds like an exciting sequel. I'll say that. No. PT will be Barney and <laughs> PT will be back. So who could play? Who could play his sort of daughter bride? Oh God! <laughs> well, now the time has come. Now that I've given us a little dose of racism. Finally, the song portion. Here we go. Now the time has come. We must decide: is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? And we're gonna give it a designation. But also, mm -hmm. this is kind of your time to tell people why they should or should not watch this film. Uh, spotlight. Um, I I think this is a pleasure. I'm gonna stick with it because because I don't think I'm not guilty at all for this. I love this movie. I completely understand and agree with all of the criticisms of it. And I don't know why it was P.T. Barnum. I do find yeah. that so bizarre. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if like think of your favorite movie. Now imagine if that movie was about a horrible piece of shit person <laughs> for no reason. And it's like. Why did, why? Why can't it just be random made up circus stuff? Yeah. So I totally, I totally understand and agree with all the criticisms. I don't know why it was P.T. Barnum, but again, I watch the movie not for P.T. Barnum. I don't go and I'm like, oh, I love this P.T. Barnum movie. I watch it to feel alive. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> That's Come right. alive. There it is. Uh, but I... <laughs> <laughs> then what was you saying? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to dump, so you're going to sort of make it look like he covered his mouth and went, Come alive. Yeah, um, I, yeah it's, it's, I, again, I'm not, uh, I completely understand all the criticisms and I love it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Garrick. What <do> you, <laughs> I think it's going to be about the same as what I said. I'm guessing. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, that's Fuck reasonable. It. Fuck. The, oh my God. So it is. <laughs> How much time do we have for this? It, it, it is just so irresponsible yeah. That's fair. to have That's this fair. movie yes. out the uh, so <laughs> to have this movie out to have this movie out <laughs> existing In the world. it's almost it's almost as if it should have that on, on like how disney plus yes has yes. that like there are some insensitive things <laughs> In the, what you're about to watch, it's from the times. Yeah. It's from the. But it's, it's from of five the years ago. But it's from five fucking years ago. <laughs> Everything you're about to watch is a load of shit. It's a load of shit. P.T. Barnum was a terrible person, right? And he shouldn't have have any any form of celebration, any mm. form of, um, I mean, I guess he's his 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 state might get money from this. We should actually burn down the circus. <laughs> oh shit. Circus With isn't around anymore, luckily, is it? I don't. I didn't go away. 
Is the it? circus? Isn't the circus over? I think the so. circuses yeah. in general. Yeah, circuses are, yeah. Just I think circus, they shut them down. Are you talking just circuses? Yeah, who the hell wants to go to a circus? Yeah, Except like Cirque du Soleil, but like cir- traveling circuses aren't really around. Yeah, yeah, I think I could oh, be okay. wrong. Yeah. Well, so you you won. We should start one. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. I'm truly <laughs> you got ec- what you ecstatic. Wanted. I do not want that fifty percent going to the to the fucking Barnum. Do you think he has estate. ancestors? But also the idea. God, I hope not. Yeah, I really I, if they do, I hope they're all black. <laughs> just I hope they're all black. Him. And I hope that, that that's true redistribution. And now yes. it is a, a hundred percent uh, guilty. Like, I just, I truly believe that mm. there should be a disclaimer at the beginning. You know, and I'll, that is so funny, I'll pick it right idea. up after that. I Cause that. I, I agree. I think yeah. so. Grey's Anatomy, the newest season <laughs> has go. been doing this thing where it says, it's like this season of Grey's Anatomy takes place in a post COVID world. In the real world, COVID is still raging on, but we've decided to place this after the end of the pandemic. Yeah. But you can you go to resources. Grey's I think Anatomy this is movie still on yeah. uh, Grey's Anatomy It's still on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. pumping out I and mean, it's hits, baby, hit, hit, <laughs> hit. Whoa! And I'm okay. watching it in the tub every week. But yeah. I think this movie that should <laughs> should say this movie takes place in the universe <laughs> where P.T. Which, Barnum P.T. Barnum was a hero, a, good guy. a hero. But in reality, his his negative legacy rages. <laughs> It still uh, rages on. Feeling. So if you can, try it. not to go to the circus yeah, yeah, in yeah. which we are celebrating. Exactly. But just watch this movie because we need to make our, our yeah. money back. Right. How Proceeds. funny How funny is the idea of, I mean, like, I love the idea of what you were saying about it being like a, a, a disclaimer now. And it's like, this movie is of the times. It's five years ago. Yeah, yeah. But imagine if when you saw it in theaters, it said that. This movie yeah. is of the times today. Yeah. Because it is. No, so I do think that the, there should be absolutely a disclaimer yeah. on it. Um, <laughs> I love that. I think it's a classic guilty pleasure for me um, because it's <laughs> because of this, because of the joy that we've felt uh, laughing about it. Come on, everybody. Toss your shit. Okay, Eric, toss his hat. <laughs> toss but it's the music's fun, the, ve- the vibes in the. <laughs> It's, a, it's those pesky vibes once again. It's those pesky vibes are so good, but the story makes no sense and obviously um, is damaging. But yeah, guilty, <laughs> guilty pleasure. 10 out of 10, damaging but 10, 10, guilty pleasure. I did not enjoy watching this movie, mm. but I've had a damn good time ever since. <laughs> <talking about it. laughs> I, My like, life is better for having I, seen it. I gen- yes, yeah, actually, yeah. I feel like but, I am better for having seen it oh because of God. the joy that it's brought us here today. Oh but is God. it because... <laughs> Oh, no. Do you enjoy the movie Uh-oh. or do you enjoy? <laughs> Don't even let you finish freaks. that sentence. Do you enjoy the freaks that watched it and enjoyed it? Look, you're you're talking to the guy who likes cats. Yeah. Okay. And it's the freaks we made along the it's way. It's the freaks we made along the way. <laughs> this is a. It's not a guilty pleasure for me yet. Yeah. But I could see myself getting there. Mm-hmm. He's good. gonna watch it again. He's gonna. It's watch hard it again. for me to believe that yeah. I'm gonna go my life without watching this again. <laughs> I saw Garrick download it on his phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't don't put that negative yeah. juice Actually, on me. No, what you'll do next is you have to go and look up the pop album, like the Panic of the Disco Pink version See, of all the songs. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna not do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I actually gonna... have it right here. That's a magician thing, not a showman thing. Excuse me. <laughs> Pulling a rabbit out of a Puritan hat. There's really only <laughs> one com. thing left to say, and it's yeah. that this is the greatest show. That's gonna be stuck in my head, I think, for a yeah. long time. Yeah, Incredible. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know where I lay. I. I did not like it, and I don't Kids know. Crying. I don't think I could recommend that you watch it unless you're gonna watch it toasty with your friends. Yeah, watch it with a big group of friends. Yes, and I that's think what that, guilty that's... pleasures are, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, don't do what me and Garrick do, which is watch it on your laptop Before in daylight. Yeah. No, I agree. This should be watched on the biggest screen you can find. <laughs> I'm tossing my hat. <laughs> Eric, uh, you have, if people enjoyed you, you have so much more just like this. Where can people find you? What are you up to? Uh, yeah, you can find me on Pretty Much It. If you look up on YouTube Pretty Much It, I'm sure it'll come up. Um, but if, especially if you look up Pretty Much It Greatest Showman. Uh, yeah. Because uh, you'll find a really, really funny video. One of the funniest we've done, and it's uh, partially for Miles, one of the funniest guys I know. It, we're trying to convert him as a showman. <laughs> I think the title of the video is, yeah, we forced a, a showman hater to That's watch right. it. That's yeah. the idea. And back then I identified as a so, showman hater. Absolutely. Wow, you're the that. Bennett of the, of the commentary. But mm-hmm. so if you, if you look that up, that's a good starting point. 
if you enjoy that, we've got a bunch of other stuff we got. And you guys do watch alongs where you're stuff. talking through the movie as commentary tracks over it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not like pausing it and and you know, it's 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 uh, commentary tracks that you can sync up with whatever we're watching and watch along with us. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have ones that you can watch stuff in theaters. We have that you can watch at home. So it's uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Sick. Anything else coming out that you want to talk about? You did it. I'm just giving you the Showman option. Two. I'm just I, honestly I, I started. I'm waiting for Showman Two. That's it. No, that's it. That's uh, that's pretty much it. Awesome. And uh, <laughs> personal socials, where can the people find you? Oh, I don't really. I uh, it's Strifleric on Instagram. S T R I F F L E R I C. But I really don't use it much. To be honest, sounds like so. a, a don't go. <laughs> don't waste your follow. Uh, honestly, don't. don't you, waste you really the don't follow. have to wait. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, I will say if you follow me, I at least won't clog your feed because I don't. Really I actually, post. I have the opposite. When I go to follow people, I sometimes go like, mm, this person doesn't post that much. I'm in. <laughs> oh. See, that's funny because I would be, I would be like what you'd think. Where I'm like, why, why would I even follow if they're not going to post anything? So I get it either way. But we, uh, I will say on Instagram, I post uh, full commentary tracks for. Free sometimes so that's the value there i guess so, there you go whatever uh miles thanks for stepping in today where people can find you happy to be your um <laughs> at miles bond on freaking pinterest god <laughs> the silent the air got sucked out of the room it's not i don't think it makes it interesting <laughs> but at miles bond on everything Thanks for having me, guys. This was so much fun. Of course. Oh, yeah. love of course. This, i'm at corny and all the things i'm at garrick bernard on all the things and until next time this, this is, is the greatest, greatest show! Oh, my glasses break for <laughs> that.